let's uh, let's get underway. Thank you very much for coming today for the big show on Saturday at the arena. He's here. He's back. Tyson back in the ring after uh, too long away, and we're all looking forward massively to him getting back into competitive action. Frank, of course, is the promoter, so I think it's probably appropriate that we start with a few words about what it means to British boxing, Frank, and the fact that the big fight is back here in Manchester. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry we're at late starting. Apologies for that. Um, what does it mean for us? Well, I think for, for me personally, I'm highly delighted to be involved in promoting Tyson and working with him again, and more importantly for British boxing. I think it's well, you see what it is. It just brings so much to the party. He's a, a character. He's, for me, he seems like a new man. Um, he's, the public have really, really taken to Tyson. They seem to like how he is at the moment. And uh, I think it's a credit to him, all the trials and tribulations he's come through. So he's sitting here and being back. That being said, the most important thing is, about it is he can fight here. He's, for me, the best heavyweight in the world, he's the linear champion. No one can consider himself to be the world heavyweight champion until they beat the man who beat the man, which was Tyson against Klitschko, and never lost his belts in the ring. So he's back, we're on a quest to get those belts back where they belong. This is the first step. We're a thousand days out of the ring. He's got a, an opponent sitting down there to my left who's uh, Got other ideas, he's fought at heavyweight, he fought Manuel Char, who's now the WBA, uh, took the WBA title, a uh, regular title. He went the distance with him. So for me, it's a great fight for Tyson and a great opponent for him to come back to. Um, I am just so excited and I'm so pleased that he's back, as I said, and I'm looking forward to Saturday night as the start of his journey to get this man back where he should be, which is the best heavyweight in the world with the belts. The fight will be broadcast live on BT Sports. Manchester Arena is a big arena. Tickets have gone very well, but there are still tickets available, correct, Frank? There are tickets available. So uh, if you want the tickets, get in touch with the box office, and uh, we've got a good crowd going there. It's going to be exciting, as I say. It's going to be a great atmosphere, and we've got some really good fights on there besides the man himself, we've obviously got a cracking, cracking fight between Manchester's own um, Terry Flanagan, who's fighting for the vacant uh, WBO title against Maurice Hooker, who's under, both of them undefeated. So we've got a great fight there, great undercard, and as I say, the man himself here. So I'm looking forward to it. Tyson, it's been, uh, it's been a long time. Are you feeling uh, just a, a tiny bit nervous about getting back in the ring? Or a few, few collie wobbles? No, no nerves at all. I feel like I've been a goldfish in a tank, trapped, and now I'm getting released back into the river where I belong. So just put me there and watch me swim. So I will be an effective swimmer. And I uh, can't wait for the fight, basically. About a thousand days is a long time for anybody, isn't it? Um, not to mention the amount of weight up on eight stone and just madness really, it was a roller coaster of a few years and I'm just glad to be back, happy to be sat here playing again on Friday, Saturday rather. What, a lot's been made, I mean you've talked about eight stone, at, at your heaviest officially, what were you? Round about 27 and a half stone, yeah. And now what would you anticipate being in when you, when you weigh in on Friday? Anywhere between 19 and a half and under, right? a bit over, anywhere, between, anywhere around 19, 7. And how, how good do you feel physically now? I mean, you look, Frank says you look great and you do look I'm great. Look, I'm looking good, feel? I'm flying. <laughs> you can always tell if I'm looking good, my face seems to have got better looking by the day. And uh, look, it is what it is, I'm looking good, I feel good. I don't ever remember feeling any better than I do now. I feel sharper now, faster than I've ever been, more power, more, um, I just want it more, you know. Before when I was world champion, I, I fell out of love with the game. There's no secret that I didn't, couldn't be bothered with boxing anymore. And, Really, it was a, a lost relationship. It was like I was married to the game too long and we um, sort of fell out of love with each other. Well, now the love is thriving. We're back on fire for each other. And any good relationship, all you got to do is spice it up. So what I did was, put some lingerie on this beach and we're back. <laughs> we're back in love, everything's spicy and you're going to see the best Tyson gear you've ever seen. 
And how much are you enjoying being back in the centre of things like this? Because I mean, this is a, a big media turnout. Yes, today. There's a lot yes, of yeah, it's a lot of media guys here. Thank you very much, all the media journalists, everybody. And even Glenn McCrary's here. Get up there, Glenn. <laughs> yes, it's, um, it's such a great turnout. We've attracted so many good-looking people. Uh, must be doing something right, must I? Um, look, I said the Mac is back. It's Mac here. No disrespect to this fellow here and his manager, I've met him before. He was the manager of Christian Hammer. Yeah. And I've bumped his ass too. <laughs> so hopefully, listen, Seppa's a good fighter. I've not underestimated Seppa. I look at Seppa like I look at Vladimir, Joshua, Wilder, anybody. He's a dangerous puncher, 21 KOs. He's in good shape, he's a good looking man. Um, and he'll be coming to knock me spark out on, the, on Saturday. Look, we've all got the same of our chins, you know, if he's knocked out 21 men before, if he gets on me, he'll knock me spark out too. So I don't want that, I want to keep on going and win all the belts back and become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world again. Uh, and it's my job not to let him do that. So I know he's well prepared, he's always fit and in shape. If he's going to take his top off and show us, show us his muscles, he'll be ready, fit, six pack top. Nice bit of gel on that black hair he's got, bit of baby oil on, he look the bollocks on the night, don't worry about that. He's a good lucky fella. I'm sure this man's a travelling man. <laughs> well, uh, let's just hear from uh, Errol then, who is... Uh, who he's is even got white teeth too! Sefa's <laughs> uh, manager and promoter, Errol Ceylan. Just tell us a little bit about, about your man and what the hopes are when you come here facing up to this contest. It's Good all yours. afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm very glad to be here in Manchester. That's real. That's the second fight against uh, Tyson Fury, the first one we have in uh, February 2015. Uh, that's a matter that we have to discuss maybe later. But uh, now is time for Severi. Um, Sefer uh, is a good, good fighter in cruiserweight and also he make uh, one fight in heavyweight. Uh, Frank explained it before against Manuel Cha. He take that fight in a very, um, very small distance, so he have only three weeks to prepare for that fight. But now he is very well prepared. He's a good fighter, he has a brave heart. And I think he will give his best uh, for testing Tyson on Saturday. We don't know uh, in what shape he are. Uh, of course, he say he's in very good shape, but we hope that I'm in good going, shape. Come uh, on, feel me. Come on, come over here. <laughs> but uh, we, 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 we will test him on Saturday, and then we will see. I think uh, Sefer will, will, will give a very, very tough fight. Can we hear from Sefer as well? Can you uh, ask Sefer uh, what his hopes are for this fight? You can answer in English or in German yeah, if you prepare. Prepare. Yeah, he's he's prepare. He makes some German. Uh, hallo zusammen, schön, dass so viele Presse da ist. Uh, ich habe einen großen Respekt vor Tyson Fury. Er ist ein großer Mann. Für mich ist er uh, der uh, schwerere Talent, der beste der 21. Jahrhundert. Yeah, first of all, hello. It's great to see so many people from the press here. Uh, I have to say I have great respect for Tyson. Uh, he's a bit, I think he was a big man, and I think he's one of the best talents in the 21st century. How, uh, how, how confident are you that you can give him a, a real fight on Saturday night? Natürlich, vor dem Kampf habe ich großen Respekt vor Tyson Fury. Er ist ein Er ist ein Showman, er ist ein guter Boxer, er, ist, er sieht gut aus. Äh, aber ich meine, ich bin da in Manchester nicht umsonst gekommen, sondern ich will siegen. Ja, yeah, uh, obviously, I have great respect for Tyson. I said, uh, yeah, he certainly he looks good. Uh, he's a good boxer as well. Um, and but I haven't come here to Manchester just for the sake of it. I've come here to win. What are you hoping to get out of it, Tyson? Because uh, I guess you, you, in an ideal world, you obviously, obviously you want to get a win, but you want to get a few rounds, don't you? Listen, I could have picked somebody a lot easier than uh, Sefer. Someone who I could have went one round with and knocked them out. But I need plenty of rounds. I've been out a thousand days. I've been out two year eight months. And I need rounds, so I know Seth is tough, I know his brother's tough, 
Um, tough guys, so that's why I picked him. Picked him because I know he's tough, strong, he's going to come forward and he's going to bring a lion's heart and he's going to come to win. Tell us about the sparring that you've had in, in preparation for this. How many rounds you've been doing, how you've been feeling? I've done hundreds of rounds of sparring. I've done um, way over 300 rounds without the with the training camp. It's part of everybody, really. I've had many, many people in. Done well, to say the least. Done very well. Look at me. No mark look on me. You look good. I've done do. over 300 rounds. i got a little special talent, and that talent is not to get hit in the face. Um, that's why I'm this good looking. It's hard, it's very hard, you know, not getting in the face, but I sort of mastered it. And that's what it is, if you don't get hit, then the opponent can't win. But listen, I won't be running away from um, Sefa or anybody else in the division. They'll know where to find me in the ring. It's not a very big place. And it's very easy to beat me. Very, very, very easy to beat Tyson Fury. And the late great Brendan Ingle once said, in the gym from many people. He said, the only way to beat Tyson Fury is knock the cut out. He said, if you don't knock him out, he said, you ain't gonna win. He said, because he'll just keep coming for you all night. And some people go in a boxing fight and they almost settle to lose. After they give it a go for a few rounds and they, they get, get a groove right, I'll rather lose on points now. And that's it, they, they, they survive. They call survivors to go in there and mess around and get through the fight. But with me, I'd rather get knocked back out in 10 seconds trying to win than go in there and trying to get a, a loss of points. Because losing is losing at the end of the day. Whether you lose on points or you get chipped, same thing, still lost. And that's what makes me dangerous. I'll keep coming for you for the whole 12 rounds. It would have suited me to be 15 rounds now, not 12. I feel the 12 round goes very quick and I've been more suited to 15 round days, but whatever. I'm fit, I'm prepared, no excuses. If Sefa beats me, good luck to him. Well, what have I got to say? Go on. Well, he's back, he's doing his thing. Look at him, he's happy and Larry. We've never left a stone unturned, done all the job properly. Everybody's happy, it's happy camp, happy fighter, and you're gonna see a new and better Tyson than you've ever seen before. Have a look in the gym. Fabulous, the best I've ever seen you. Better tenfold than you've ever been. Because he's happy. If he's doing everything right, you know, and that's why we picked a dangerous opponent like Sephiria, because we know he's capable. He can beat any man on the planet at half mass this fella. What I'm seeing, there's nobody even been born yet can tackle him. He's the fastest, the biggest, the strongest heavyweight in the world. And there's other people going back to that top level. You don't expect my word for nothing. He is the real deal of boxing. There's no other. There's no other heavyweight on this planet. They're all good, excellent fighters. There he is. He's been born. It'll be three to 500 years before you see the class of him again. And I will go on to say that he's the first man from the traveling people to ever be near a position like this. And he'll stay champion for the next 10 years. There's only one man beating Tyson Fury, himself. No one else. But at the minute, that's a no-go area. Everything couldn't be better. We're all happy. We're in a happy place. We just want to get on and box and enjoy it while it's here. Probably not a bad sign on the back of what your dad said there. Just to just to give us all a word about Ben and the way in which he's worked to get you back to where you are. Yeah, well, Ben's a good-looking fella and he is looking for a boyfriend. So if there's anybody available, just give me your number and I'll pass it on to him. Seriously though, I mean, as a, as a trainer, being serious, aren't I? <laughs> he's put a smile on your face, hasn't he, in more ways than one. You know what? He has. <laughs> Go on, Ben! Anyway, on another subject. He, um, he has been a breath of fresh air to me, really. He's been like a... Um, he's been my hero, Ben, and he's only a young kid. He's 25 year old, he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. The world is looking at Ben and saying, who the heck is Ben Davison? Well, after Saturday night, you're gonna know who Ben Davison is. And he'll be there with a tan, with his head brushed back with an Essex voice on him. And we're on, we're moving on to the top, we're taking over it with Ben. That's who Ben Davison is. Frank, any, uh, any final thoughts before we move on to head-to-head -head photographs and one-on-ones? Uh, and no, I just, as I say, it's, uh, I think it's uh, 
I think boxing is going to be really entertaining. Yeah. You know, the most important thing, I, I agree with all what <coughs> Tyson's dad, Johnson, all what he said, everything he said, but one thing he left out, he's, the, for me, the boxer that's got the best boxing brain. He's got all the other attributes, but he's got a great boxing brain. And I think that is where you're going to see the best thing. When he's in that ring, you can see what he's doing. You can you start thinking people. Got everything else to do. And that, is, that, for me, is what's going to get him to where he should be, which is back to being the, the unified champion. And he will win those belts, and we will move heaven and earth to make those fights happen. We don't want TV companies getting in the way of it. We don't want promoters getting in the way of it. The fans, the boxing fans, want those fights. And it's up to us to ensure collectively that they have. Brilliant. Well, as I say, it's all going to be viewed for you on BT Sport on Saturday night. If you can't be there at the arena, it's going to be a very special occasion. We're going to have a press conference tomorrow to discuss all the undercard fights, including principally the Flanagan Hooker world title fight, which promises to be a special one. It's going to be a great night of boxing. We're going to do head-to-head uh, -head photographs coming up now and then all of you who want to have one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, with Tyson will be setting up next door and uh, Sefer will be available to speak to you as well. So thank you very much for coming today and uh, we all look forward to Saturday.